Okay, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. For those who don't know who I am, I'm Martin Watkins, and I'm the chairman of the Northern Area of Rafa. And on behalf of the Northern Area Council, I'd like to welcome you all here uh, for this weekend and to this evening when we can have a little bit of uh, relaxation and socialise amongst friends, because this is what it's all about. It's about being friends. Okay? I'm sure that you will enjoy the weekend and the items we've got for you. There'll be plenty of time for questions as you go along. So I'm not going to stand here to say anything more than that, then enjoy this evening. Just to say the meal is about to be served. You'll be called up by individual tables to uh, go and get your, your food. So thank you very much and enjoy. <laughs> Perhaps we may care to just pause a while and remember those of our friends and colleagues and loved ones who cannot be with us today as they have passed in the year since we last met. In friendship and in service of one to another, we are pledged to keep alive the memory of those of all nations who died in the Royal Air Force and in the Air Forces of the Commonwealth. In their name, we give ourselves to this noble cause. Proudly and thankfully, we will remember them. We will remember them. Last year, please. 
Brilliant. Okay, so I have some uh, knowledge in the audience, but basically there's still a lot of people in this room who have yet to touch participate in one of our uh, raffle visits for uh, 20, 2016 and so going into 2017. So uh, basically my remit as a raffle for our FLEME is to raise the profile, membership, fundraise, welfare on behalf of the station. And one of my key outputs is really to engage with the raffle community, to engage with everybody in this room in our local area. And, and how we do that at RAF Leaving, it is difficult for us due to the scale and the vastness of the area of North Yorkshire, um, Cumbria, and um, Northumberland to reach out to all the different uh, branches. So what we've tried to do is rather than us moving to you, is inviting all of you to come. I'd now like to introduce you to Andrew Wilkinson Sharp, who's the Director of Finance, who will give us the Rollout Association Special Donation Report. Good morning everyone, can you hear me okay? Yeah. Well thank you for welcoming me here. Uh, I am the Director of Finance of the Association, not Director of Finance and IT that you may, you may read in writing something like Director of Finance, I know nothing at all about IT, unfortunately. Now as, as Director of Finance and as the Finance Manager, I don't get let out very often. So. But my colleagues like DP and Amy are doing this sort of thing weekends, I'm back at count, County Fees usually. So. I'm delighted to be let out there, but I'm not going to go back in just yet. I'm going to enjoy it while I'm here. And, uh... and so we've gone from no BSOs to one to two in this area. Uh, I'm sad that Pete passed away last week. Uh, you know, we are in a state of flux at the moment about that. I can't give you the exact number of branches where we were five years ago, but I know in terms of the downward decline, the trajectory has slowed off. So overall, this year, we uh, opened six new branches over six new branches, but ten either closed or merged or went into uh, registered member group status. Looking ahead, I don't know. I don't think anyone can forecast. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed your lunch and are refreshed for your scintillating afternoon that we're going to have from now. I'm really pleased to welcome you today. Captain Keith Taylor, who's the station commander of the Tower News, is going to tell us what's going on in today's role efforts. Thank you. societies and influential groups about roles, responsibilities and relevance of the Royal Air Force today. We do this for a number of reasons. Firstly, to demonstrate that alongside the Royal Navy and the British Army, the RAF acts on behalf of the UK Government as a defence asset, it gives our nation's leaders choices in times of crisis. Fellowship pilot, we talk about the best aircraft in the world that the Royal Air Force operates, but pointing out the best aircraft in the world is nothing without the people that make it happen. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm delighted to introduce to you Flight Lieutenant Max Card from 27th Squadron at Royal Air Force OU. Max. David, 
Mr Chair, thank you very much for having me here today. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, my name is uh, Flight Center Max I'm from 27 Squadron at uh, Royal Air Force Podium down in Hampshire. So, uh, yeah, about six hours south. But it's an absolute pleasure to be here today with you. Uh, I'm going to talk to you for about the next 20 to 30 minutes about uh, Chinook operations in Afghanistan, um, leading on to uh, the, Chinook, the Medical Emergency Response Team, or MERT. Um, and talk about uh, some of the stories uh, from my time, 2010 to 2013, operating out there. from now on, okay, because uh, Martin had to go and do something else, so I'm taking over the proceedings for this afternoon. So we're going to move on to the junior standard bearers competition, the certificates and uh, the presentation of them. I'd like to introduce, please, my lieutenant Tony Tyler, who adjudicated it, and he's going to be giving the announcements of uh, who done what, and then we'll get the group captain to hand over the certificates. Thank you, Tony.
as I alluded to earlier, the standard jury competition was incredibly high, and accordingly the scores were incredibly close. Very <coughs> minimal split between first and fifth. As with all competitions, there are winners and runners up. The second place today, or the runner up for the 2017 Young Standard Bearers competition, Cadet Warrant Officer Jackson. And the winner of the 2017 Young Standard Bearers Competition is Cadet Lee, 1982 Squadron. second in the Cadets National Competition at RAF Halton. She also has been 
for the last two years, Cadet of the Year for 1953 Nursery ATC Squadron. She also, after an intensive and competitive interview, was selected to participate in a two-week ATC exchange program to the United States of America. This award is going to Barrow and Furness uh, ATC Squadron. Uh, sorry, Barrow and Furness Branch. Uh, this next award is for the ahead, the best collection for the Wings of Field, and it goes to the Erewash Branch. Hey. Save the land. 